everyone. I'm going to show you how to create a quote in Norwegian for Norwegian Cruise Line. So first you're going to go to norwegiancentral.ncl.com. You're going to go ahead and get yourself logged in. Now you can watch the training here in NCLU under the Learn tab. You can also click on the How to Book, and that is how you're going to learn how to create or how to create a booking. But to create a quote, you want to go ahead and click New Reservation here under the Book, or you can click over here on the dashboard on the left side where it says New Reservation. Either one will get you to the same place. The first screen. You're going to be verifying your agency information, your name, your phone number. Click continue. Now I know exactly which ship and sale date I want for my client. And I just want to send her a quote, but I want to show you what I keep in or remove so that she has a full idea of what to expect from the booking. So dates are June and the sailing is on the 2nd and it actually goes to the 9th so I'm actually going to narrow the window down to exactly what I need it to be. She's looking for two adults and I know exactly the ship is going to be the Norwegian Joy. Now I've already searched this on ncl.com on the consumer portal so I know exactly what the pricing is going to be. Um, the other thing I want to click right here is I'm actually going to pull the insurance out for right now, and I'm going to quote it, and then I'm going to go ahead and start my search. This is the sailing I want, the first one right here, the seven-day Bermuda and Atlantic Coast round trip to New York with the inside cabin starting at 9.49 for a guaranteed inside room. So I'm gonna click select. I'm going to scroll down because she just wants the best price. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the inside room right here, select at 9.49. And I'm going to sell her more on the cruise itself and when we actually build out the booking is when I'm going to talk about the different parts of the deck or interior versus ocean view versus um, a suite. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a room right now, just kind of arbitrarily choosing a room, but I can see at least that there's a lot of availability left when it comes to an interior room. Click select. Now from here, you can create numbers, loyalty numbers for your guests with latitude numbers if you have their information. I like to put myself in, I think you need a passenger in there in order to create a quote. So I put my information in there. And I search for myself. There I am. And I go ahead and add this. Oops, I just slide down a little bit. Add to reservation. That was the button I was looking for. Okay. Now going to price programs. This is where a lot of people get tripped up. Doesn't make a lot of sense down here. So what's clicked in already is easy or I'm sorry, Easy Fair, which is the early booking fair. That offer is already on there. The reduced rate percentage off, the 35% off is already on there. I do like to quote prepaid service charges. So I click those on so that they can see how much the gratuities are going to be when added in. Now there is a free at sea program going on and that is all four, you choose all four, where it'd be the beverage package, dining, internet, and the shore excursion credit. If you enter all these in, you would just click here and here and it would kind of gray out these. The thing is that you're going to see on the quote that there are service charges that are associated with the beverage and the dining package. And I definitely keep that in there because I want them to see that even though it is free at sea, 
there are service charges associated with those two programs. And it should list out some of the details. And I'm going to make sure to give them the details of what exactly is included in those free and safe promotions. If you had third and fourth guests, this would automatically be checked. But I only have the two guests right now. So I'm going to keep it like this. Hit apply promotions. Okay. So all of these things are in my quote right now. So it says the voyage fare the non-commissionable fare, the service charges, the savings. And then these are the service charges for the beverage package that is free and the dining service charge that is free. You still have to pay for the service charges. The taxes and fees listed out right there, the reservation total, and then the totals right here at 3,179 and 80 cents. Now I wanna send this to my client. So I go to the very next one that says payment schedule, I'm sorry. Yeah, payment schedule. Let me see. Where's the lens? To guest info. Here we go. I guess I just had to send it through with the guest info. Now the payment schedule has popped up. So I'm going to click on the payment schedule. This is where I'm going to send this to my guests. I'm going to hit commit booking, no payment. And the payment schedule is right here. So the deposit would be 250 and it will be due uh, today the 26th. So on the 29th, so in three days. And then the final payment would be due. February 3rd, so you can figure that out to be about 90 to 120 days prior to sailing. So commit booking, no payment. All right, so now it's held. You have a reservation ID number, but you're not putting in any credit card information right now. So it's just held that room for the next three days for you. And then you're gonna go ahead and send confirmation. So from here, I can send the guest confirmation and the agent confirmation. I'm going to wipe out the agency. I just wanted to go to my um, and then it's going to send both the confirmation Miami. You have to click that one too. Both the agent and the guest copy to those emails and then hit send confirmation. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull up what it looks like in my email. There we go. Let's look at the guest confirmation. And then right down here is where the PDF is that you can send to your client with all the information right here. So if I can increase. Okay, so it's going to say the category state room that you've chosen, the sale date, the itinerary, the embarkation and disembarkation. It has my name right here for right now, just so that I could get the quote. And then it has the breakdown right here so that I can truly explain to them what the port taxes and fees are per person, what the service charges are going to be, and then what the total will be right here. And then the final payment and the final deposit. When you scroll down a little bit, right here, it's going to say that you've got the short excursion discount included, the prepaid service charges, the internet package up to 150 minutes, two unlimited open bar packages, and two specialty dining packages are included. And then they can click on any of these for the cancellation fee schedule, the terms and conditions for the promotion. And that's exactly what I was talking about with um, how these promotions really lay out dependent on the amount of days of sale. Um, and then all of these links should be clickable for them. Okay, hope that was helpful for you.